Hello guys, Susanna here. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of a quick video on some of the stuff I've made and some stuff that's coming and a bit of a haul. So it's a bit of a, a chat and a haul video. So I made this with my sister. We just had a craft day. It's made from an old doily and I've got some beautiful vintage buttons on there. So Christmas 2021, use some wool for the hair. And I think it turned out really cute. So I just got a square doily and I folded it over made a little like a heart shape and put some mother of pearl and 1950s buttons um, originally i was going to fold that over and then put wings on the back but i thought it already sort of looked like it had wings They're very cute so there you go so i usually like to make some christmas um, ornaments every year so that's going to be hanging on my tree she's a little she's a little on the pudgy side i think i stuffed it too full now this is, um, a lot of you who watch me probably watch um, Rachel and Sarah Roxenberg. And so um, there's a the journal of stitchery. It's You can either do the hashtag journal of stitchery on Instagram when you share it. And also Roxy's journal of stitchery. But I thought I'd just put journal of stitchery because um, I'm not Roxy. <laughs> so this is, um, they had... A, we, they're doing a stitches sampler and they're doing um, Sarah did five and then um, Rachel did five so here's my um, stitchery I will show you so um, and I noticed that when they did it they just got a plain bit of calico and then put little dots and I just thought I'm going to use gingham see as you can see it shrinks in um, because it just lines up really really well and I'm not going to do two lots of everything like probably the most would be um, these are the like French knots and then colonial knots you can see the difference colonial knots in wool definitely are bulky so that's about half so I'm thinking the other 10 can go down there and I'm just going to do one row so this is the stitches um, and I thought I'd share that, um, yeah, it was not really nice, like, stitching along with um, Sarah and, and Rachel. So that's going to be at the front of this journal of stitchery, which I'll be doing along with them, which should be very nice. And you can tell this is in my beautiful pink colours. I'm just a bit of a pastel girl. So I'm doing that. And then um, I had a bit of a haul. I went to the vintage market and I got um, this is an apron I just really really love the fabric so I'm probably going to pull it apart probably use those pockets on something but I, I really quite like the fabric so that's why I've got that and I, I've got two kits here actually I might show you them first that I've already I've done the green kit and the pink kit and they're going to be on my Etsy store and they've got all vintage fabrics in there cotton mill and all that kind of stuff and I thought um, in light of I mean I was making these anyway and when Rachel and Sarah were doing their um, slow stitch thing I thought well I'm gonna have some really good value kits um, they're only going to be $35 and um, yeah so I thought I was having them anyway so I've got more to go i'm going to do a blue kit a yellow kit a purple kit and a neutral kit so i've already got the they do take a lot of work like i've got 10 of each <laughs> and just doing all that 10 takes me a whole day so i've still got a bit of work to do so this may some of this may go in the blue kit or i might keep that myself because there's not a lot great deal of it um i was lucky enough i went to the vintage market and got some of this beautiful beautiful That'll go into the blue kit. And when I get a lot of stuff, like the pieces in these are really big. Like you get, um, you know, some really good sized pieces. Um, I've got these. So I'm going to be having 10, 10 kits. So these will be cut in half. And um, everyone will have half each and I thought there was only four but there's actually five they need a bit of an iron so there's enough for me to have these in the kits as well that would be in the blue kit um, 
and I've got I've got this really pretty this still needs to be washed I've got this so that'll be in the blue kit most, most of the kits will have um, see there's a little gingham a gingham one I wonder if you can see it in that one there's a gingham in here um, a really cute little gingham and they're just beautiful all that stitching so that's going to be in the blue kit as well and I've got some of this so I'm going to do a yellow kit but I'm probably going to add some orange in with it as well so um, I found that and so that gingham will probably go in the yellow kit I went to a vintage shop and saw this that was a beautiful so that'll probably go past that'll go in a slow stitch um stitchery like when um lisa maddock was showing how to do it in her um what is it S scrappy mishmash course um she said you know get all old embroideries and all that kind of stuff and i was just lucky enough to find this beautiful i think it's really nice to make a good focal focal point so that one's for me these will be probably go in the purple kit i've got four of these two three four so they'll go in and there's right on here sort of rows some of these are for kids but some of them are for me um i'm going to use this for when i originally saw like i was a pattern for this it was actually um, a circle and i found these squares so i I'm going to put all some buttons and stuff on there and maybe make a round one with all buttons and bits and pieces. That's why I grabbed that. Um, there's this. This is really shabby. <laughs> this needs a bit of a wash, but it is pretty. This might be part of the purple kit as well because it's got little purple flowers. And then this one. So I've got that six. I need ten. So I've got these because um, I just thought they were really pretty. They might even go in the yellow one. They nice. I thought they were pretty. And then this needs a good wash. I think that might go with my... Yes, look at that. <laughs> Terrible. Um, might go with my blue stash of stuff that I've got for my slow stitching. And then I've got this. I've got a place that I go to. It's actually an antique shop. But she sells all these fabrics and doilies and all that. They're $2 each. And then when I get to the counter, she always discounts it again. So she's so good. And then, yeah. So this is beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Really like that. It's got a little greeny, like that green. But that's, and that's all look bluey. Even though it's, it's starting to thin out here. But you would probably just cut out little bits to put in your slow stitching so I've got this which I bought so that'll be part of a, the purple pack it sort of looks blue but it is purple and then I was lucky enough to find that so I don't know whether that's going to go in with the blue or the yellow or you yeah, know but I, when, when I've got colors I've got this one this is going to go in my blue pack too um, see it's primarily blue and then here's another one love that i bought the, this this one and this one and this one like i did buy from a vintage store so you know they weren't that cheap but there's a fair bit of it so whenever i've got a lot i'll put a lot in there so the blue pack's actually going to be really quite nice i've got some really nice shirts and all that kind of stuff and that this just reminds me of liberty um the pink pack's got some of this in there no the green the green pack's got some of that in there too is it that were more in the green tones and every all these vintage buttons absolutely stunning one that's got the sort of like all, all of them have got a glass one in my blue pack i've got um ones that are i only had 10 left and they they were from a, a, like an antique you know button thing so i'm i'm giving away good stuff okay guys well there you go so a bit of a haul of what i've 
that I've gotten recently and a cute little decoration oh here's another one that was from that um, vintage shop it's an art deco so I'm probably going to some of these need a wash I'm going to um, put this in the yellow pack I think I will um, every, everybody will get a sort of a, a piece like that I just think it's beautiful really nice so they get a, everyone will get a piece of lace and some beautiful embroidery so there you go that's what I've been up to I've still got to do the tag of the month which was supposed to be put up today but um, I just did this haul today it is actually Friday you'll see this video on Saturday um, and it's our anniversary um, been married 33 years and that's why I went out to the vintage market and got a lot of this stuff so we had we did a bit of shopping and um, had lunch it was really nice it's always nice to to go out okay guys well thanks for watching and I will catch you um on Tuesday I've been a bit slack about not doing stuff on Tuesday but I will catch you on Tuesday okay so keep an eye out for these packs um, probably come out in about a week or something like that okay thanks for watching bye